Hello YouTube, it is Chris here and in today's episode we are going to be discussing the R50 Pro Seeker by Olight. So stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, in today's episode we're going to be going over and doing a full torture test and review for the R50 Pro Seeker Law Enforcement Kit. Now for size comparison, I went ahead and stuck this between the X7 Marauder, the S2A Baton, the S30, um, the S30R Baton version 3 and so on and so forth so you can see where it ranges in size compared to each different model. Now this flashlight just to forewarn you, has already been through absolute hell, and it still works. So uh, this is going to be a positive review. And if for all the super crazy nerdy tech specs, they'll be down in the description box below, as well as a bunch of Amazon links that help support the channel. Well, it has a single mode button design, so that is how you turn it on and access all the different various modes, but we're going to get into that shortly. Now this flashlight is a lot smaller than the normal R50 Seeker. And this is the big old chunky box that it comes with, and we'll go ahead and get all these other flashlights out of the way for you. This is the box that it comes with. It's a nice box, it's a pretty box. And it comes with a lot of goodies because this is the law enforcement kit. This is designed for rapid charging, mounting this thing in a vehicle, the whole, I mean the whole nine. This is a five mode flashlight, so it's designed to keep it simple stupid. And it's got some impressive run times, respectively, for most of its modes. And I know on the front of the box, it says that it's a 3200 lumen flashlight. And technically that is true. But respectively speaking, that only lasts for a minute and a half. So realistically speaking, you're getting a thousand lumen flashlight in all actual reality. These um, super turboed up, you know, run times are designed for emergencies when law enforcement, security guard, and military personnel need to flash a lot of light on you know perpetrators they're looking for something something is lost there's a vehicle accident you know there's something they need a lot of light really quickly not necessarily for long periods of time and um one of my favorite features about this flashlight is the fact they did make it smaller and even though they made it hotter and brighter um the flashlight actually this model for whatever reason didn't get hot on me um with me going out and testing it and doing all that stuff it didn't get hot in my hand and i really like that um, it feels just a little bit lighter, and the LED that is powering this bad boy is the XHP70, and uh, let me tell you, this thing is just an absolute monster, and if you look really closely, you can see that it's actually four little smaller LEDs kind of rolled into one, and um, something that Olight's been doing with a lot of flashlights are putting the magnetic tail switch on there. So it mounts to just about freaking anything, and I love that, especially if you need it for a vehicle, you're working on anything, you got a flat tire, emergency use, you need it hands-free, you've got it covered pretty much. But um, I'm tired of talking, wasting you guys' time. Let's jump straight to the test footage. All right, so let's go a quick rundown of the modes. So right now we have it on medium, and we long press for a second, it turns it to high, then we double click, and we get the fullest, brightest setting, which is turbo. And then if you triple click, you get strobe, and strobe reaches out and touches pretty much everything. Now, this is its lowest setting, and since this is the law enforcement kit, it's really not going to go super, super, super low. So it's got low, medium, high, turbo, and the strobe function. So as we can see, uh, what I've noticed is the most comfortable mode to go on is medium. I can see pretty much everything and I can see for a good ways out. 
But uh, we're gonna go over here because we have a fence line with a wide open fence. This is like a soccer field. And we'll go and uh, do some beam shots here on turbo. So we have this running on turbo and we're doing it through a chain link fence, so forgive us, but it's reaching out and touching everything. The 3200 lumens on this thing is a beast. We are out here doing an all familiar test off my balcony. We have the R50 Seeker Pro and we are going to drop it three times from 15 feet. Alright, so it survived the first drop. Let's toss that out a little bit more. As you can see, it's a little dirty, but it's still on and working. So for the third and final drop, All right, so flashlight survived. And all the modes still work. So it survived three 15 foot drop tests. Now we are gonna submerge it underwater for about 20 minutes and then freeze it. All right, so we went a little bit over the 20 minute mark, but that's okay. It's just further testing, that's what we'll call it. But um, still on, still looks like it's doing fine. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and put it in the freezer and let it get nice and chilly until it's inside a solid block of ice. Alrighty, so it's been a couple hours and it's starting to freeze in place, but it's still on. So we're gonna let it sit overnight and come back in the morning and see what's up. All right, whoa, it's early. Yeah, wow, this thing is like frozen solid. Uh, I just woke up to use the bathroom <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's still on and it's still frozen. So like all the other Olights before, it's doing really, really well. All right, so it's the next morning about seven o'clock and it is frozen solid so we're gonna go ahead and take this and call this bad boy out all right so it looks like it survived now let's see if it can survive a drop off a 50-foot bridge we are out here with the R50 Pro Seeker Law Enforcement Kit. And as always, it is a long, long way down. Now with any gross abuse test of any product, it's gonna go one of two ways naturally. It's gonna pass and you're gonna hail that piece of equipment as absolutely amazing and worth every penny. Or it's gonna fail <laughs> and I get hailed as an idiot. So. Please understand, this type of testing is gross abuse testing and it's free entertainment only. I've already allowed it to be tested as it's, you know, recommended to be tested. So let's just have some fun and see what happens. All right, we are out here again. And up there is Jen. She's gonna be doing all the high rise testing for us. And as you can see, there's a lot of rocks on the ground. So this can get really bad for this flashlight really, really quick. Oh my god. That was a loud thud. Oh man, this thing got torqued. Jeez. Let's replay that footage. So, it got beat up pretty bad. I mean, it thudded right on these rocks. I mean, you could hear that thud. That was crazy. But uh, you guys won't believe this. <laughs> it still works on all the modes. 
That is just absolutely crazy. And that is why I am such a fanboy of Olight. Because not only does it pass all of my normal rigorous testing, but it passes one of the most grossly abusive product testing, you know, shots that I could ever imagine to do is drop it off a bridge in the middle of hell for a flashlight. Electronics, rocks, and high falls do not mix. So that is why Olight has my vote. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that footage as much fun as I had testing it for you guys. And that is what I'm here to do on this channel is to take knives, gear, flashlights, camping equipment and push it to its limit. Now I know certain things it doesn't make sense just to torture test it for needless torture testing, but with flashlight companies, you know, talking them as tactical or survival or the best ever, I'm going to push all these flashlights to the absolute limits and see what they're actually capable of. Because if I'm going to give my recommendation on these flashlights, I need to know that reasonably speaking, 95 to 99.999% of the time, it'll actually be there for you when you need it the most. Not, every, not necessarily just every day, when you need it the most and crap in your life gets really weird. So that is why I recommend Olight so, so much. Now their flashlight's a little more expensive, but I think with the crap they can tolerate, I think they're well worth the price in my opinion. Um, I, I literally can't say enough about this flashlight. It's not super cheap. The law enforcement kit is or has a pretty pretty uh, price tag to it. It's about 160 bucks on Amazon. But for those of you who are professionals or want a super rugged flashlight that is no holds bar and means absolute business, that is something I highly recommend. But um, if you like this video, please go and throw a big thumbs up and uh, let me know this is the kind of content you want me to keep doing. And these are the kind of torture testing videos you want me to showcase for you so you don't just get these needless useless and really frankly pathetic backyard beam shots from other places but um that just about does it and please consider shopping on those amazon links because amazon links support us in a huge major 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 way and they help us keep doing what we're doing but the great thing about it is it doesn't raise your end user prices so if you're already interested in the r50 seeker it helps you support your favorite flashlight gear review channel wink wink and uh you know, let's keep doing what we're doing. But uh, that just about does it. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.